Luke, would you want to see Manny Pacquiao fight again? Obviously, he's at the last stage of his career. Sometimes you just got to know when to hang it up earlier rather than later. And look, Manny Pacquiao over two decades and, and winning titles in eight weight classes has faced the best of the best. I mean, when we look at what we have in today's generation, nobody's going to ever do or come close to what Manny Pacquiao is doing because everybody's worried about protecting that, oh, or I'm on this side, you're on that side. He went to every side and took on all the guys. I think the only guy he didn't fight is Terrence Crawford. Other than that, you look from, you know, from the days of Marco Antonio Barrera on to, you know, the willingness to fight Errol Spence at age 42. I mean, you got to give this man credit for what he's done in sports and, and, and young fighters are more worried about the paycheck and being the A side right now. And, and nobody will do what Manny Pacquiao did that he's one of the greatest of all time because of the fact that he won titles in eight weight classes. And yeah, that had never been done before. But the most important thing to me is five lineal titles, all the fights of the year, all the fighter of the year awards, fighters of the decade. But it's because of who he fought. He didn't make excuses for, I'm not fighting this guy because he's difficult. I'm not fighting this guy because he's a power puncher. I'm not fighting this guy because he's too big. I'm not fighting this, this guy because he said something bad about me. No, it's like, What's the best fights for me? Let's make them. Pacquiao, when you hear that name, you'll know he's up there with Roberto Duran, with Julio Cesar Chavez, Sugar Ray Robinson, you know, Muhammad Ali. That is a list that very few belong on, and, and Manny Pacquiao has his place. Now let's look at Manny Pacquiao and remember what he gave us. He started a 112 pounder and, and won his first title. Started at 106 pounds, but he ended up, you know, winning titles at up to 154 pounds against Antonio Margarito, breaking his face uh, practically, and, and just all the memories that, that Manny Pacquiao gave us, the, the knockouts, and that losses don't matter because this generation cares about the O. Who cares about the O if you've beaten nobody? That O is meaningless if you beat nobody. So. They have to look at leaving a legacy and saying, you know what, when all is said and done, it doesn't matter if you have titles in three, four weight classes, because now they hand out belts like crazy. Fight the best, man. Prove yourself against the best. Prove that, you know, all the greatest lost. Leave a lasting legacy like Manny Pacquiao. He should be an example because I don't think we're going to have another one like him because Manny Pacquiao did it the right way. He went out there and he fought the best, win or lose. He wanted a rematch, he wanted another crack at those guys.